and welcome to C++ tutorial of point of sale system and let me show you guys how this works we can always reset and enter new customers details as you can see the system is recording every single data in there and let's assume we don't want the fish in there so all we then need to do is remove that fish burger and you can see the price has gone down and I'm going to take off pink rose pink as well there and so far the total cost is 34 pounds plus so we want to pay by cash if we want to pay by cash we might as well select let's say we enter 41 pounds click on total there we go and let's say we want to save this click on save and I'm gonna just call it daily meal and save that there we go it's saved I believe it's saved on the desktop so let's clear and open up what we just saved let's look for daily meal there we go open up the daily mail again that is it right there okay. now you see how the total works how remove works, save work, play work and exit I'll be with you guys shortly with a full tutorial hi guys and welcome to C++ tutorial of a point of sale system so I'm going to start by going to file and let's select new let's click on window VCL application there we go so make sure the application is selected scroll right down change the width to 1390 i'm going to change the height to 760 right here 760 and the font right here i'm going to change that font font to point of sale that should be caption here somewhere there let's change that to Point of sales. There we go. You guys should be able to see that. So the next thing is I'm gonna come right here. Let's tell a T panel. Grab a panel, drop it there. And this very panel, I'm gonna change the following of the panel. You see where we have bevel. Bevel kind. Okay, let's go for the bevel kind. I'm going to make that tile. Yep. And one other thing, let's see if there's any other thing that can be changed. Then uh, the bevel width. Let's make that about four right there. Okay, that's good enough tile and it's four. That is good. Alright, so I'm going to copy this very one. Control C copy and Control V to paste. Control C copy and paste again. Scroll right down. Let's bring it down. Something like that. And let's paste it again because we need a couple down here. Let's see. And just copy Control C Control. V paste, bring that down here. All right, just drag it along. And I'm gonna copy that very one. Paste it on the form and reduce the size of that. And cut it off. Cut, control, V and paste it right in here. Okay, now it's inside this very form. A very panel okay that's fine okay that's good now we'll come here and paste another one right in here control V paste all right that's fine let's come out here and just paste one right out here bring that down Let's see, I think we may have enough room. Yep. 
and drag this down as well now we're going to take this up a little bit okay I'm going to run it now let's click on run coming up there we go that is my farm that's how it's looking now all right so okay I think this is all right like this yeah it's fine now select the form itself and let's come straight to alignment of the form you see where we have a line I'm gonna pick that right at the top so that should take care of that now in here I'm gonna need some buttons there but before that let me select every single one of these select these three and let's come right here we have something to do with align vertical I'm gonna make that top now scroll right up you see where we have alignment I'm gonna make that to the left left justify and scroll right down and here you see the font I'm gonna change the font to something readable let's make that about bold 20 there we go now select the very first one move this up select the very first one here and change the data on needs to POS number point of sales number Okay, and this one is going to be items items and price sent up on sign there yeah? bring it back a little bit there and the last one I'm going to enter point of sales in there. Point of sales, and towards the end, I'm going to enter point of sale select or something like that. So just enter item selector. Okay, so I'm going to scroll towards the end. Items, let's say items select all. Alright, that's fine. Now, come back in here to the palette and let's select C image. There we go. Grab that image and just drop it right there. There we go see that very image I'm gonna need a couple of those let's collapse this for now I think that might do let's say we copy that control C and C paste we have two yeah I think that would do paste again we have three okay that is fine All right, now select the very first image. Maybe if just select all of the image instead of the very first one, copy, control C, and paste. We have, okay, let's select all of these again. Copy and let's paste it here. There. Okay, that's four, one, two, three. Select those and paste them right here okay so that would do all right that is fine now the next thing i'm going to do is let's come right down here you see where we have this very one oh let's do one thing here you see this one let's add a list box to that grab that and just draw a list box in here bring it down 
there we go. We have a list box, so that's sorted. Now, in here, I'm going to add some buttons. So let's go for T buttons. That's the first one. So I'm going to need a couple more. Copy that and paste. Okay, let's paste one more and see. Okay, we seem to have enough room, so select it all. Three across and four down. Okay, now copy, paste. Alright, now select it all, control C, and paste. Bring it down. right there okay that will do now this very first button let's change the details of that come in here go to object inspector let's pin it down and change the caption of that very first one once the caption of that very first one is changed, you can just repeat the same thing for the rest. So enter seven there. Let's click on the next one. Eight, nine, six, five, four, one, two, three. And here we have zero. We have decimal here. And there we have a C. There, that is it taken care of now each of those buttons I'm gonna come in here you see where we have the name I'm gonna give them variable names so that's gonna be BTN let's call that Claire the next one is going to be BTN dot BTN zero btn1 and so on one we have two we have three btn6 five we have four Seven, eight. We have nine, so they all have a name now. Looking good. There we go. All right, that's cool. Let's bring this down now. And this very one here, we need to change the data in there to so get rid of all of the text we have in there, and even this one, get rid of the text get rid of this one as well with delete oh now we need to change it it's there get rid of that now get rid of this one is the caption that's what we meant to, to, to select so come right here Make sure the caption is selected as well. Delete that. Okay, here. I'm gonna come now. Come in here. Let's add a label. Entire label here. Increase the font of that label to 20. Make that bold. There we go. And that is going to be known as subtotal. Copy that, paste, and the next one that will be known as total. And there. So this can be total. This is subtotal, and this can be tax. Right, I'm going to copy these three again, copy, 
and I'm gonna paste them right here. Paste. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and we then need text box. Come right here. I think it's called T edit. T edit. Paste that here. Change that to twenty font twenty. Twenty bold. And just copy it across. Control C. Control V to paste. Control V paste again. Right, that is fine. Select just to copy and paste that right here. There. And here, I'm going to change this to cost. Uh, that will be cost, and this is change. Okay, so come right down here. actually cost and this is pay method and here that is going to be changed this text box here will be known as edit change And this is going to be known as edit cost. Now, this is going to be known as edit total. And this one will be known as subtotal. Edit subtotal. And here, that's going to be known as edit tax. Very good. Scroll right here. This other one. Let's add buttons. So, PT button. Grab that and draw it right in here. We have one. Let's change the font size of that very button to something readable as well. And that is going to be, let's make that 20. 22. Okay, that's fine. 22. And now we copy and paste. You don't need about six of those. Copy, paste. Do we have enough room? No, we don't. I don't think we have enough room for the last one. So I'm going to have to reduce this. Let's see. Okay, now copy. We should have enough room now. Yep, yeah, and paste again. So we have six. All right, that is fine. Okay, let's give them a name. So this very first one that is going to be known as. Let's look for the variable name. BTN um, remove remove item okay that's the variable name so come right up here and change the caption to remove there we go this is pay well, we can just call that total total The variable name is going to be btn total this one is going to be known as save btn save go right up here caption is called save this one is called open Variable name btn open. I 
and here we have reset btn reset and up here that's going to be known as reset and finally that's going to be known as exit variable name is exit bt and exit there we go okay before we start adding those images let's do one thing you see right here let me add the let's add a combo box here so let's say c combo right there okay we have a combo box change the size of that to about 20 as well 20 bold there we go alright so for the combo box I'm going to change the variable name to cmb payment oh yeah that's fine payment okay that's that taken care of now for the images and let me show you guys the images I intend to use I think it's right here you can use whatever kind of image you want that's the one I intend to use so make sure it's, uh, the image box is selected and I'm going to scroll right down one of these property that is got is uh, picture so click on the picture property and let's locate the image um, I think it's gonna be inside here somewhere and that is it right there those are the images I intend to use so let's change it to large so that I can see what I'm doing there we go alright those are the images let's see I'm gonna set it for fish burger so click on that and then click on OK. We have fish burger there, although we can't see the burger properly. I don't like that. I need to be able to see it. I may have to just do something about that. I'll still keep the fish burger and just enhance the image and come back to it. All right. Okay, select the next one and come right here. Now I'm going to select the Nigerian meat pie. There we go. Yeah, Nigerian meat pie is working. Now let's select another one. Um, there's one I call Oshodi fries. Yeah, that's it. Or we can just name it Lagos fries. And here let's complete one side then I can then speed it up and this is going to be known as let's pick on whatever there I'm going to select okay chicken nuggets now this one let's see meatballs yeah click on ok and come right down here select one more and now we then speed it up I guess you guys get the whole idea so let's get some crazy coffee click on ok so I'm gonna speed that up now crazy coffee I need to change that I don't like how that looks let's change that as well change it to something as that can be seen non-alcohol okay all right non-alcohol we still can't see the text content all right i'm going to speed that up and get back to you guys shortly okay i'll finish up with the images all right so let's do one or two things there now 
so I'm going to come in here you see the combo box you just click on the properties of the combo box this is where we have items so I'm going to add an item to that so the first one is going to be cash and followed by direct debit I'm going to go for Visa card finally I'm going to enter MasterCard there we go click on OK now the one right below it I'm just going to change that to 0 and change this to 0 as well there and I might as well just align it all to the right let's come to the we should be able to align the text to the right let's see if we can do that I don't want it centered no I don't want that undo that so I'm just going to go back in there select it and come in here select none and I'll repeat the same thing for this one as well Where is it none okay that's fine that brings it back the way it was okay so let's change the the data in here as well I'm just going to come straight to the text enter enter zero in there select it all to enter that zero let's go straight to text there we go all right that is fine so I'm going to run it now let's see we should be able to justify this one to the right okay and this one as well that should be I should be able to justify it to the right as well all right and then what is the property of that combo box I don't know I'm gonna leave that until I'm able to find the property of that one the alignment property okay let's run it and see how that looks like this is how it's all looking now nothing is happening you see these buttons I can take care of those so let's come right here I'm going to select every single one of those buttons let's select it all and let's take care of those so come into events right here drop it down and let's select on click change that to number click number click press enter right now I'm going to create an object and this is how you create an object in um, C++ builder T button then add a pointer and I'm going to give the name btn equals open a bracket and let's say it's going to be T button and it's going to be pointing to a sender close that I've just created my object and the object is called btn so this very object I want it to be able to address this let's come right here what is the name of this guy here I believe it's called edit text okay back in my codes double click on one of these yeah back inside the code I'm gonna come in here now enter coily braces and in there I'm gonna say edit cost point to text and that is going to be btn text no btn should be a caption it is a caption not a text there now come out of hate and let's say else enter curly braces edit cost is going to be equals to edit cost plus btn caption and that should officially take care of the yeah that should take care of the number buttons oh let's save it we need to save it so i'm going to just give it a name i'm going to call it point of sales and i'll save it inside the folder that i created for it click on save all right so get okay, that saved let's run it and see click on run 
and that is it we have one error let's see where is that error else okay you see right here that was supposed to be equals equals in here I should have an if statement here that's an error that should have been if this button the text box actually is not a button equals equals if it's equals equals zero because I do have a zero in there there I thought I entered that that was a, that was a silly mistake all right sorry about that guys now let's save that again and then run it I think that that's it I was supposed to use that okay now you see that guys so let's take care of one two so exit out okay let's go back in here and double click on the dots here just double click on that and in there I'm just gonna say if let's say not edit cost point text dot p o s if you just for you guys if you want to know the pox actually means uh, in Delphin or in uh, rad studio the pos method return the index in the index of the false occurrence okay just return the index of the very first occurrence so return the very first index and close that then I'm going to enter curly braces in there and let's grab all of this paste that in there and that will be equals that plus dot there and that should officially take care of my dots so let's I think there should be another one bracket in there so that takes care of the decimal place now the next thing I want to do is to take care of the clear the clear function come right here double click on C I'm just gonna kind of like paste that in there I've already copied it and just enter clear but there's a value in there there's a zero value in there so enter zero and that take care of that takes care of that okay so have a good look at the lines of code for the buttons we have used events to group all the buttons the the decimal and the clear so save that and run let's see make sure it works all right enter decimal and let's see if it's going to accept another decimal no it's not accepting that clear that is fine okay guys that's working fine okay i'm going to exit out and let's go to the design view here now what i want to do is you see these two components there save and open i'm going to come straight to the palette right there and let's enter save dialog there there we go grab a hold of that i'm just going to dump that somewhere here right that is the save dialog i can place that underneath here i'm going to also look for the open dialog grab hold of that and just dump that somewhere there so we have the save and open dialog in place now okay so let's do one thing now you see this let's start work with the coding part of it so i'm going to double click on this very one a fish burger is called double click on the fish burger and just before that I'm going to have to create some variable or declare some global variable here so I'm going to say double so that would be the data type 
item cost comma sum comma i comma let me say tax I'm going to give that tax of value let's say is 2.7 comma and change those are my variables that I intend to use now back into the design again double click on the fish burger and in there I'm going to declare some glow, uh, local variable we can even make those global as well but let's just leave it as local variable so that is going to be Q P and A they're going to be taking in some value for me but instead of retyping those I might as well make it global and I'm going to say string items as well so this variable that I just declared now I'm going to just cut it off let's put it right up there there I'm going to be using it for all of the button that will reduce my workload okay those are all the variables that I intend to use they are all global now so double click on my fish burger so right here I'm going to start by saying item in the first place item is going to be zero so let's maybe I think it will be right I kind of like also initialize the item so I'm going to say item equals item and now say equals the price or plus the price I think that's three pounds something there we go now let's initialize the item here item the first value is zero okay so take a good look at the global variable item was initialized and the tax is already initialized so let's come right down here back into my fish burger all right and now we didn't say item that item is a string let's say float to string and what are we floating what are we converting to string we are actually converting this to string and close that now I'm going to say LST that's my list box LST price point item point add and what am I adding and actually adding fish burger okay let's add some space in there plus items there we go now let's say Q Q is going to take in the following let's say string to float and what is the string of converting to float that's going to be whatever I have inside my sub total point text there that's one taken care of the next one is going to be the P P will be equals Q plus item cost there okay I think let's set some color missing here as well that is Q now that very Q we now need to assign the Q but before then let's use the Q to work out the tax 
I think I must have made a mistake here. I didn't know how that happened. Get rid of that. All right. Now, the next thing is I'm going to now say subtotal to take in the following value. So I say add a sub total that would be equals float to string or well, I will float into string P so that is it converting whatever we have inside P to a string character and store it in subtotal now let's work out tax right underneath here tax any tax that will be equals floats I'm gonna grab all of this float string and what are we floating to string I also would like to round it up I would end up P, multiply that by tax. Remember, I initialize the tax as 2.7. Close that and let's divide that by 100. There we go. So, whatever the value we get is stored in here. Now, A, that would be equals string to float. And this time around, we're just floating the tax. So we'll grab all of these, paste that here, and that will be for the tax. Grab everything here, paste it in here. String to float, and close that. We're now going to add the subtotal everything here so the total actually so let's just copy that and get rid of the sub in there and this is going to be plus a now we can just a plus p that should give us everything we want a here and p here okay guys i'm now going to try this out Let's see. Yep, that is fine. No, I don't want that. I don't want it to add it all up. No. That is not good enough. Okay, I think I might know why. Maybe I should just initialize this right here. Let's make that zero. There we go. And up here get rid of that okay yeah that's fine okay just initialize it up there now I'm gonna run it again save that run and let's see yeah that's fine that's how I want it to work else you just be paying more than expected all right that's fine so I'm now going to copy this. Okay, copy it all. Go to the next. The next one is the Nigerian meat pie. Double click on that. I think it's uh, yeah two nine five. And paste. Change that to two nine five. Two nine five, and in here we enter Nigerian meat pie. Let's add some space in here. Let's try that out. Run. Okay. I think maybe we should get rid of maybe the meat or just leave it as Nigerian pie. I have enough room for that. Okay, run again.
alright that's much better that is much better okay now run alright that is fine so exit out so let's grab hold of this other one here copy and let's go back in here double click on the next one that is the Osho the fries change that to Osho the fries there we go and that's 120 now the next one that's chicken nugget double click on that oops let's copy all of this paste and just change that to nougats now next one and what is the cost of the nougat I think it's three pounds something I saw on it 310 310 and we have meat pie the price of that is missing I just make that up let's see 240 and that is meat pie or meatballs actually This one is called crazy coffee. How much the crazy coffee? Three pounds plus. I'm now gonna drink that. Three seven five for the crazy coffee. Right. Angel cake two nine two ninety and change that to angel cake. Grab all of that paste here. Now the next one is. Asa cake, that's my people's cake. Asa cake, and the Asa cake is three pounds plus three twenty for the Asa cake. All right, let's say Asa ill cake. I don't know, Asa eco, yeah, eco. It's an echo cake, yeah. All right. Now the next one. Let's see what the next one. Pink. Pinky. This is for you, rose pink. If you are watching, you already have a cake here. pink there we go that's for rose pink 289 £2.89 okay let's look for the other one that is pack burger Paste that in there. Pack burger. Pack 
Hamburger is 290. Right. Okay, we're almost there, guys. This is okay. This one is 320. Is this here 320 baby cake is called? I'm gonna change that to a cake. A cake, and that is 320. Right, then we have the coffee, sweet coffee. Sweet coffee, two five seven. Then we have the original beans. Origin coffee. So let's put the origin there. Origin coffee. And that is what? 395. 395. Then we have pink cake paste that in there I think it's 390 or so no 340 pink cake and finally the can drinks That is zero point five seven can drinks. Paste that right here. There, all done. Okay, let's save that and run it and see how that's gonna look like. All right. Okay, that's good. Okay, that is fine. We just need to position it all properly. Okay, guys, that is working as expected. That is good. Now, let's take care of one very easy thing. Resets. We double click on reset. Come right down here. Double click on reset. And in there, let's say LST price or shall we say items pointer to clear is that allowed I think so I'm gonna run it let's see let's run it first if it works it works okay let's clear reset good that's fine it's working and let's clear all of this as well now edit cost that is equals clear grab this no just grab all So this will be for tax subtotal total change 
and what is I think payment something CMB payment right let's see run okay reset that's good let's enter some value in here and see what's gonna happen reset very good but these ones they do have no this let's see okay they all have zero so let's change it to zeros apart from that zero 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 run okay reset that is good now and let's take care of the exit now so exit I'll double click on exit and right there let's just enter close with the parentheses that should take care of exit and the next thing is you see right here where we have save and that is the dialog for saving there you need this dialog for save and dialog for open to get those ones working so double click on save and I'm going to use an if statement there if let's say open a bracket save dialog one and it's execute enter parenthesis if that is equals true open up a bracket we then want the save dialog to save whatever we have in there so I'm going to now enter in here execute so that should be an E in there I'm now going to enter where the item to save is that's the list box and that list box item that will be dash save to file to file and the content we're saving is the object that is saving it is going to be the save dialog and then the file name and that takes care of save now I'm going to copy this for the open let's come right in here double click on open then we'll try it out paste that in there and this is going to be open so let's change that to open and change this one to open as well um, finally here I'm going to change that to load from load from file and that takes care of the open as well so let's save that and let's run our program and see how that works oh let's see what's that error about yeah I think uh, is the greater than sign there and since I copied that to be missing here as well right so let's save it again and run there okay so I'm going to enter some item in there that I intend to purchase okay that's good enough for me and I'm going to click on save there we go let's give it a name so I'm going to call it school mail that's a lot of mail for school there so I'm just going to save it right on my desktop save 
there we go we can reset and let's see if opens will work click on open let's look for school mail there we go there we go look at that it's working exit out open get hold of school mail there we go guys and that's fine that's working exit so we need to take care of one two so exit out and the exit is working as well so let's first of all let's take care of total double click on the total there with the total I'm going to declare the following variable so that is going to be total comma cost comma and change there we go so declare those variable as a local variable and down here let's just say total that will be equals string to float and what I will float in that's going to be edit total text and that is for total now the next one is going to be the cost cost that will be equals what is that let's see what what is it called okay it's called cost so that's fine yeah okay then so that will be convert a string as well get rid of this I shouldn't be there convert a string as well paste this here and copy all of this paste it right here that is for the course now the, the change will become cost and we subtract total from cost there we go and um, finally we now want edit change that will be text equals I'm going to enter pound sign in there plus floats to string and without floats into string that's going to be change there we go that's fine I'm going to repeat the same thing for let's change the cost here this one total cost and let's add a pound sign in front of it as well Just grab all of this copy and paste paste it right there okay that should take care of my total and end that here all right so let's save that and run that and see so if the customer is paying by cash we should be able to we should use that so let's assume that is it okay the cost is 30 something pounds 35 and cash is being paid so we can always come here and grab hold of 40 total that is correct if you add this to this you should get 40 pounds now supposing we want to remove an item okay with the item let's come right in here double click on that I'm going to use an if statement so let's say if list price pointer to an item index index is uh, greater than and equals to zero and 
it are coily braces. In that case, the list price items and that will be delete. And what we're deleting is a list price item index. There. That is the delete taken care of. Okay, but with the deletes, even when the delete is taken care of, I will out I would like to add some calculations. If I select this now, I can delete, but the value is now being deleted there. So to achieve that, we need to do as follows. So we can always copy let's come in here I'm gonna copy this so all I just need to do is to subtract here so bring it down right underneath here and paste now this is all I need to do just delete that Sub uh, subtract subtract uh, Q from the item cost and that should take care of remove yeah so let's save and run there we go let's enter whatever in there and let's say I don't want this check out the price it's 32 pounds and I want to get rid of that you see that it's now 29 and I want to get rid of the coffee there and that is how you create your own point of sale system using C++ builder and using C++ programming language so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel I look forward to that so you all have a nice day now guys and bye for now